g of x is defined such that g of x is equal to ln x when x is greater than 1, or 1 minus x over x where x is between 0 and 1. Part A, find the range of g of x. So, looking at the graph there, we can see that the smallest, the y value, will be 0. And then we can see there's no upper limit to what y can be. You can see this part of the graph is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. There's no upper limit there. So the range then is simply g of x is greater than or equal. It can equal 1, uh, it can equal 0, sorry, at this point here. So the range is g of x is greater than or equal to 0. Part B, solve g of x is greater than 1. So I can see that it's equal to 1 here and here. We'll find those points in a minute and then I can say that if x is less than that value or greater than this value, then that's where g of x will be greater than 1. So let's find those values first. So this value here is going to be where the 1 minus x over x, and I know it's going to be that function there because I can see my answer, x is going to be between 0 and 1. So that's how I know it's going to be this function. So when does that equal 1? So times both sides by x, add x to both sides, and I find that x is one half at that point there. Now let's work out the value of x over here. This is where we're looking at the logarithm, where ln x is equal to 1. And again, I know it's the logarithm because the value of x we're looking at here is greater than 1. So ln x is equal to 1. Take exponentials of both sides. So x is e to the power 1, or just e. So those are the two values where g of x is equal to 1, but I wanted where it's greater than 1, which is over here or down here. So that's going to be where x is greater than e or where x is less than 1 half. It does need to be greater than 0, though, because my function isn't defined for negative values over here. Having a look, it's only defined down to zero. So that's where g of x is greater than one. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, part C. Find the exact value of g, g of a quarter. So this is telling me to substitute one quarter into g, get my answer, and then substitute that into g again. Another way of thinking about it, work out g of a quarter, and then substitute that into g again. So let's do that. When I substitute one quarter into g, now a quarter is roughly here. So substituting that into the 1 minus x over x part of the graph, we get 1 minus a quarter divided by a quarter, which is 3 quarters over 1 quarter, or just 3. So g of a quarter is 3. This is 3. Now I need to substitute 3 into the g function. 
which is over here. Notice now three is greater than one, so we're substituting it in to the logarithm now and not the one minus x over x. So g of three is equal to ln three, and that is the exact value of gg of a quarter.